Welcome to another Nonsense Wars GBC production. This module is a simple lift that demonstrates the Pacellier Lipkin linkage, which was the first planar linkage that could translate rotational motion into linear motion and vice versa. Some early steam engines used this mechanism to keep fragile piston rods aligned. Keeping the lifting platform level posed the biggest challenge in developing this module. Lego parts are very precise, but moving Technic connections, like the pins connecting the linkage, can have a lot of slop. The first prototype had four linkages raising the corners of the lift, but that setup made the platform very unstable and also made the supporting drivetrain really big. I originally cheated a bit and addressed this problem by building rails for the lift. This stabilized it at the cost of adding some friction to the lifting motion as the motion isn't perfectly straight, again due to slop. I tried a couple different guides, but none of them worked that well, and eventually I solved the issue by adding a third linkage above one of the lower ones. This keeps the platform level as the top and bottom connections now follow the same arc. The drivetrain consists of a single 3 to 5 gear stage and a worm gear box for a net reduction of 1 to 40. There is a small additional net reduction from the links in the crank and the gears connecting the countershaft. Nonetheless, I installed a significant amount of counterweight for the lifting mechanism and it should not take a lot of force to activate so the reduction mostly slurs to slow down the motion, and it could still probably run slower. Part of the counterweight is a 9 volt era 4x8 train crate, and of course it can be switched out for decoration. I did have some difficulty threading the drivetrain through the module and getting all the links to wind up in the right places, mainly because I don't have room to pass axles under the lift. Everything mechanical needs to stay on the back side of the module. The exit ramp also contains some old fences rotated sideways. Putting them upright creates just enough lip at the edge of the funnel where balls can get stuck. The final module very much resembles a glorified stepper. Most of the height of the lifting platform goes into blocking balls from rolling into the abyss without the need for any gates. Still, I think the placement of the linkages makes the lift a good demonstrator of the linkage in question, which is the entire point in the first place. As usual, we shall see how reliable it is once we can get back to physical events. On that note, this is the end of the video, so have a nice day.